Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, welcome to our presentation. My name is Erin Jensen, and I'm here speaking with Tanya Brown. We are going to be talking about expanding oral healthcare access through an ADAP design dental program. So starting with some background, um, the Louisiana Health Access Program, or LAHAP. LAHAP is Louisiana's ADAP program. LAHAP covers health premiums and cost shares for our insured clients. LAHAP manages um, ADAP enrollment and eligibility in our office, um, and we contract with a local community-based organization uh, known as Open Healthcare Clinic, or OHCC, uh, to process premiums and cost share payments. Uh, clients do not need to work with case management in order to access LAHAP. And LAHAP approximately has around 4,000 clients at any given time, of which around 90% are insured. Around a third of those are insured with marketplace insurance, a third with employer or group coverage, and around a third of those clients have Medicare. So why should ADAPs prioritize dental care? Um, so some background from uh, Louisiana in 2017, a statewide needs assessment was done for people living with HIV. Um, and around 40% of those uh, individuals identified some sort, of, some sort of need for dental care. Around 26% said that they lacked dental coverage but needed it. Around 6% said that they had coverage but it didn't meet all of their needs and around 8% said that they had it, but they weren't sure how to use it. Um, so another good reason to prioritize dental care is that adult dental insurance is not subject to regulation under the ACA or the Affordable Care Act. So waiting periods will often apply. There's a, usually a small annual coverage limit. Out-of-pocket maximums are rare. And there are also many necessary services that are not often covered. And in 2018, there was a survey of trans and gender nonconforming New Orleanians and dental care was the number one top concern with 80% of ind these individuals reporting need. So some two things that we tried before. In 2016, HRSA clarified the rule around standalone dental coverage. Um, they allowed for coverage of certain services within waiting periods, above annual maximums, and outside the schedule of benefits if considered ne medically necessary. Um, but between 2016 and 2018, some, a few problems were encountered. For clients and case managers, um, the new policy was not well publicized, understood, or utilized, unfortunately. For dental providers, the new policies lack clear, cut and dry answers on what they would be reimbursed for. And for our staff, it placed us in a position of judging dental claims based on medical necessity. Um, so the staff had very, tool, very few tools available to push back against dental providers who believed to be taking advantage of generous reimbursement policies. Um, so that led to the creation of the LAHAP Guardian Dental Plan. In 2018, we were approached by American Exchange brokers about the creation of the group plan for LAHAP clients. So American Exchange connected with LAHAP um, with connected LAHAP with Guardian Life Insurance in order to customize a private plan where the ADAP acts as an employer and plan administrator. Uh, OHCC, our subcontractor, entered into the contract with Guardian in order to avoid the state procurement process, with, which can be lengthy and difficult. Um, so Guardian conducted provider network access and there was almost 5,000 statewide providers in the state of Louisiana in the Guardian network. Around 96% of LAHAP live within 10 miles of one network provider and 95 live within 10 miles of two network providers, two or more. And among the key demographic areas, about 97.3% of LAHAP clients have, have provider access. Um, so overall, we felt, found that to be good provider network coverage, and that plan went live in 2019. 
Um, so customized plan design, we were able to customize a plan design. We consulted with OHCC Dental Clinic on which services should be included and which common plan clauses should be eliminated in order to best serve uh, people with living HIV in Louisiana. So 100% coverage without cost sharing at the time of an in-network visit for all covered service as part of the plan design, no waiting periods, and an annual maximum, which was set at $5,000 per year. Um, and this is, a, this is a picture of what the Guardian Dental Card looks like. So plan enrollment overview. Um, clients can opt into the plan at the time of LAHAPRI certification, or they can enroll by completing a simple enrollment form at any time throughout the year. And yeah, so we have year round enrollment and the LAHAP staff and OHCC staff have access to the Guardian and online portal in which we can directly enroll and disenroll clients in re near real time. Clients who fail to recertify for LAHAP are manually disenrolled from the plan at the end of each month, but they can opt back into it once they are recertified. Um, here we just have a graph of our plan enrollment month to month starting in December 18, 2018, and it's current up to a few months ago, May 2020. So as you can see, our net enrollment grew quite steadily in the beginning um, and now has leveled off around 2,000 clients um, as, you know, clients added the plan and continue to be enrolled in the plan. So in contrast, you can see the number of added has gone down as more clients are consistently remain in the plan. And then the, the yellow line on the bottom is the disenrolled as you know, each month we do have to disenroll clients from the dental plan as their LAHAP eligibility ends as well. So some internal processing. To enroll in the LAHAP Guardian Dental Plan, clients or case managers submit a plan enrollment form. So in 2018, when we introduced this plan, we mailed out a dental enrollment form and describing the plan to each one of our LAHAP clients um, so that they could easily send it back to us and enroll in the plan. We also have a pre-filled form that exists on our website for easy submission. And any client, we allow any client to just call us if they want to be enrolled. And we fill out that form on their behalf. Once the form is received, it is then approved or denied by eligibility staff. Um, most, most forms are approved, but the client does have to be LAHAP eligible. And they also cannot be currently enrolled in another standalone or group dental plan. If the form is approved, then it's forwarded to OHCC for payment and enrollment. So um, this is something that's really important, aligning dental enrollment with eligibility. So when a client's LAHAP eligibility lapses, any non-guardian claims that they may have will either be rejected by the pharmacy at the point of sale or rejected by HIP at the time of adjudication. And that keeps us in compliance of Ryan White legislation. So like if a client goes to the pharmacy, their claim is denied due to the LAHAP not being eligible, the client finds out right then and there. However, with Guardian adjudicating dental claims instead of OHCC, they have no mechanism for checking LAHAP eligibility and they could potentially adjudicate claims for ineligible clients. So that's why it's so important when clients are no longer eligible for LAHAP or the dental plan, it's imperative that they're disenrolled in the online portal in real time. And this ensures that clients who are disenrolled from the plan as soon as possible. So this ensures um, it can, keeps us in compliance with our grant. Um, so we have something called calls from the chair. This is basically an emergency call that we would get um, at the office where the client and the dentist learns that the client has no dental coverage while physically in the dentist chair. Um, while these situations are not ideal, they do occur. And since the introduction of the Guardian Dental Plan that we, that we installed, um, these calls have gotten much smoother for everyone, the client, OHCC, LAHAP, and the dentist, I'd imagine. Um, so when this happens, we can complete the form on their behalf and we can enroll them in the portal so that the client can have the dental coverage that same day. 
Um, once the clients are enrolled in the portal, their um, status can be pending for hours to days, depending on staffing at Guardian, but their coverage will be retroactive to the original effective date. At this point, it is up to the dental provider as they reserve the rights to hold clients accountable for the portion of their visit if they do not see active coverage in the, in the client's profile. But all in all, you know, at least the client will have dental coverage for that day. Um, and these calls from the chair go much smoother ever since. Okay, so now we, once we have clients enrolled into the Guardian Dental Plan, um, we will talk about the Guardian portal. Um, the policy information along with insurance cards are mailed directly to the clients from Guardian. And staff here at OHCC will access the Guardian portal. They can enroll, disenroll clients, print ID cards, um, check claim status, and the homepage also shows the current uh, premium bill amount along with the due date, and it also lists the current number of enrollees on that particular day. We are also able to make premium payments um, with ease. We can, uh, we currently pay our premium invoices through an ACH um, payment. We receive the premium invoices monthly um, by mail. And then we can go online uh, to the Guardian portal and actually make those payments without having to um, write a check. And we know that the actual uh, payment has been made. We can confirm that it has been made in real time. Regarding claims billing, um, the claims billing cannot be paid through the portal. Uh, it comes from a different um, state or a different department. So it cannot be paid through the portal. It must be a mailed payment. But this um, slide shows what the actual claims billing look like, what we receive. So each um, bill has the date of service. Um, I excluded the client name for confidentiality, but it has the payee, um, which is the provider, and also the amount that um, they incur during that, that time frame. Regarding quality management um, at OHCC, we review a monthly, we, we review on a monthly basis, a random sample of EOBs. Um, we wanna make sure that the services we are paying for are actually allowable services and not services that um, we did not approve on our um, allowable charges. We also have an annual provision of program documents, including a credentialing process from Guardian um, to make sure that those providers that clients are using or accessing are actually credential providers. Other QM measures uh, include an annual client satisfaction survey, quarterly feedback from the Ryan White Community Advisory Board, and comparing Guardian claims against Part B oral health services utilization data to ensure oral health dollars are used as payer of last resort. Regarding plan uh, utilization and frequent services, Guardian uh, on a um, twice per year, they will send us a report and it's called the experience report. And it will list the routine office visits that are most frequently used and includes other services that are used um, after they list the routine office visits. So you can see that tooth extractions, for instance, was the most um, utilized service for our clients. There were many clients that were delaying their most critical dental needs until they found and understood this guardian plan and it is more comfortable and easy to use for the clients without there being any confusion about what their insurance plan will cover as well as what the health insurance program or OHCC will cover. This graph lists um, plan ex expenditures. So the bottom line, the blue line, lists the premium amounts. And you can see from January 19th through May 20th, we've seen a steady increase um, for premiums. Um, and then the claims data shows that each month it can 
go from like January to February, it went 16,000 to 69,000. And that was because we enrolled more clients on the plan. Um, but it also means that clients started understanding the plan better and started getting the services that they needed. Um, in April of this year, we saw a uh, decrease, and I would uh, attribute that to the um, pandemic that's currently going on. Clients were not accessing dental services primarily during that time, but in May, we did see an increase in those services. Okay, regarding utilization and expenditures 2018 versus 2019. So the first box shows 2018 enrollment. And in 2018, it refers to enrollment in individual non employer dental plans. And in 2019, the box shows refers to enrollment in Guardian Dental Plan. And at that time, LAHAP discontinued coverage for all other individual non employer plans. So in 2018, enrollment was at 1,132, and you only saw about um, 90 patients utilizing the service. Um, in 2019, when we rolled out the, this Guardian plan, um, you had 1,659 at the time that were enrolled only in the plan and uh, 619 enrolled and utilized the plan. So you saw utilization go from 7.3% in 2018 to 27% in 2019. The average annual claims expenditure per client in 2018 was $939, and in 2019 was $1,195, as compared to um, the annual premium in 2018 was $467 per client per year, and then in 2019, it was $84 per client. So finally, what we've learned, the good, um, large insurers have resources, areas of expertise, and professionalized data system beyond the capacity of most ADAPs. It includes third-party verification for coordination of benefits, professional panels to review claims and appeals, and customized utilization analysis. Designing a standalone plan with 0% cost sharing levels mean members don't need to let providers know about their ADAP coverage, and members have great freedom in choosing providers. Growing, the growing issues, dentists still can balance bill clients. They can refuse to accept any insurances, and they may require an upfront deposit from the client for a plan with 100% coverage. Um, insurers and brokers must be involved in the concepts and structure and values of ADAP, and no plan design can account for all costs a client might incur or procedures they might be offered. And then increased education to providers of what services HIP pays versus client responsibility. So for example, um, some dentists or providers may um, discount services, but those services, those discounted services are not covered under this plan. That concludes our presentation regarding oral health for people living with HIV in Louisiana.